when we meditate, we're showing goodwill for ourselves and goodwill for others. Goodwill for ourselves in that we've looked at the way we've been living our lives and see what qualities of mind have taken over the mind and that are not really helpful to us. We want to learn how to overcome them. Things like greed, aversion, delusion, jealousy. They don't serve our purposes, and they really don't help anyone else either. So we're showing goodwill not only for ourselves, but also for other people. Always keep this in mind. In days when the meditation gets a little dry, say, well, at least I'm doing something that's good for me and for the world. Whether the results are coming as quickly as you want or not, that's not the issue. You know that you're doing something good. Or if you start getting satisfied with the results of your meditation, you can ask yourself, was well, it really good enough? Is there still the opportunity that greed, aversion, and delusion could rise up again? And if they can, okay, for your sake and for the sake of others. Do what you can to weaken those qualities. So meditation is not a selfish activity. We are dealing with our own minds, but our own minds have a big impact on other people too. So the influence of a poorly trained mind and the influence of a well-trained mind both spread out. So which kind of influence do you want to have spreading out from your mind? It's easy enough to complain that other people's minds are a mess, but you can't wait until they decide to turn themselves around. By turning yourself around, you're setting a good example. They may pick it up, they may not pick it up, but at least the influences coming out of your mind are the kinds of influences that you are proud to have coming out. Because you see, they really are helpful to yourself and other people. This is not a false pride. This is a pride based on what is of genuine use, genuine benefit for yourself and the world. This is one of the reasons why we have the chance on goodwill and the other Brahma Viharas, the other sublime attitudes, every day, every day, twice a day. Remind us of our motivation. We're here for a happiness that is solid and sure. Our wish for goodwill, our wish for happiness, is, is not just for fleeting happinesses. It's for something that remains. And at the same time, it's a wish for happiness that's blameless. That kind of happiness is hard to find in this world. So here's your opportunity to make most of that wish, make most of the most of that motivation, because it's a good motivation. And when you carry it through, the results are good for you and for everybody else.